Now I want to switch over to a more uh, slides about uh, architecture and design. The first topic is using, but all around Kafka, yeah? So the first topic is, if you want to have a completely distributed and event-driven architecture and design, I would suggest that using Kafka and using WebSockets uh, can, get, can get you there. Let's look at the following use case. We have a long-running asynchronous business process. So in this case, we're talking about contacts importing. You, you, your Wix uh, site owners, the Wix user we call them, may want to import contacts from Google or something like that, and they want to handle everything in their back office. Now, this process can take uh, quite a long time, so we don't want uh, a user to wait in the browser until the contacts importing finishes. I mean, so if you put some uh, REST request here and just wait on it and get back the response, it could be quite problematic. So we decided to introduce a WebSocket service here that we created at Wix. So the first thing that will happen is the browser will subscribe for notifications from the WebSocket service on a dedicated channel ID. Then all you have to do is get the browser to import, request importing of CSVs or, some, or import from Google, or all kinds of scenarios for the contacts uh, job service, which produces the messages to Kafka. And you can see here that not only is it a long business process, it also spans multiple different microservices. So you can have uh, a cascading um, gRPC and REST re uh, request, but it will be less resilient and less error, error safe. Now, once uh, the message is produced to Kafka, uh, the context importer that actually processes th these jobs can consume the messages at the, its own pace and do the long processing that is required. Maybe there's another service there. But basically, once the entire process is finished, the only thing that remains now is to notify the WebSocket service that the process was finished with the same channel ID that the uh, browser code subscribed to. And the WebSocket service will know how to get this response back to the browser for the exact, uh, for the needed location. And uh, then the browser UI can update according to the status. So you, you can see here that the system is completely distributed and it can be with multiple services. But using Kafka and the WebSockets means it's completely event-driven and more resilient because you have the intermediary in the middle of the Kafka broker. And also the WebSocket service has a lot of um, error handling by itself. And uh, you have this decoupling. I really like this way of architecture and uh, I recommend it.